For over 18 years now, the Emilio Neres Foundation has invested in the fight to ensure that low income children with cancer always have a ride to their treatments. But as we all know, 2020 brought a lot along of, uh, a lot of obstacles, of course. Now, this is one great organization that could really use some help to continue to help others. President of the foundation, Karen Tara, joins us here this morning. Karen, thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having us this morning. Look, we know cancer, you know, doesn't stop when a pandemic strikes, right? Um, how have you guys been able to overcome all the challenges that came with 2020? Well, it was definitely a challenging year. Um, you know, we saw a lot of our our funding be diverted to other um, other areas last year. And um, so we had to kind of scramble and, and, and look for new ways of raising funds because Cancer doesn't take a break during a pandemic. And um, we wanted to continue driving the children to their treatment. So we never stopped. Our drivers, like Gloria here, uh, and many of our other drivers continued, right? Even in the beginning, when um, you know, we got those stay at home orders almost a week ago, right? This, this week. Right. Um, I mean, a year ago this week. And um, we decided that we were going to continue. One of the things we've always been vigilant about keeping our vans sanitized because we are dealing with children with compromised immune systems all the time. So that part was easy. We were able just stepped it up a little bit more to make sure that the vans were even, you know, just spotless. And we stopped bringing more than one family at a time. We just picked up one child gotcha. on the way. But, um, you know, we persevered and we got through it. And um, and that's one of the reasons we're having this campaign right now is to help support this program. It's such an incredible service. And you see in some of the video while you were talking, Karen, just the smiles on kids' faces. There's hope for them. Um, talk about, uh, that's the van there behind you that, that takes me to the appointment. Talk about how much um, this, this costs the organization and how just a little donation can literally help a kid get to these crucial appointments, right? Yes, it costs about $50 a ride. So right now we're trying to raise $100,000 and any amount, any donation amount will go toward that. Right now we're about $80,000. So we're getting really close to our goal Great. and it's okay if we exceed it. Yes, um, exactly. But a $5 donation, a $10 donation, you know, any amount, will help us get to that goal to continue to provide these vital life-saving rides for our kids. How many kids have, are you guys helping out here a year? About 200. Wow, 200 kids helping to get to these important appointments and um, it's just so, so important. Uh, Emilio's Ride Along campaign, I know you guys are getting help from um, corporate sponsors too, right? Yes, yes. In fact, on March 26th, we're going to have a corporate day where we will visit all of our amazing corporate partners and we'll put magnets on our van to celebrate their their um, support of this campaign and support of ENF all year long. And um, as, as much help as the corporate sponsors do bring with them, it's the people, right, that are watching this right now, that are feeling this in their heart. Maybe they know someone that had cancer, maybe they've had cancer themselves. Um, and they understand that for low-income people, you cannot miss these appointments. They are so important to, to, the, to their life. Um, what do you want people at home to know uh, about how a little donation can go so far? Yes, like I said, it's $50 a ride. So if everybody, you know, 10 people contributed $5, that's the cost of one ride for our programs. And, you know, there's a lot of people out there. So if we got, you know, 100 people doing that, you know, imagine... How much we could raise we could hit our goal like that and what was um, the name and I'm not, you know it, it is a serious problem that um children miss their appointments because they can't get to them because they don't have a vehicle so we're solving that problem right. we're eliminating that problem yeah. by providing these rides at no cost to the families it's a huge huge help uh and what's the name of the driver there behind you that's gloria gloria you do such great work we're all proud of you thanks so much for uh helping out our kids and helping out our families <laughs> and you guys you have yes. wonderful you have wonderful helpers there karen that's for sure